Biosecurity New Zealand welcomes inquiries from anyone who is concerned about a possible biosecurity incursion. Often, we are able to provide clarity about what you may have found from photographs that you can send in. The scientists at the Ministry for Primary Industries Plant Health and Environment Laboratory are experts in identifying insects, mites, spiders, plant diseases and plants. A few simple tips can make all the difference when getting the shot that's useful for the scientists to work with. Some of these tips won't work in some situations, but even if you feel the photo is not great, we'd rather see it than risk missing a possible biosecurity threat. Touching or moving diseased plant tissue can risk spreading the disease, so they're best photographed in the field. Differing views can reveal more information than photos from the one angle. A wide photo showing the whole plant and its surrounds. A view showing an area of the affected plant. And a close-up showing the disease on a single leaf or as closely as possible. A series of photos like this can also be most useful for the entomologists when looking at insect pest damage. For the botanists to identify suspect plants, a series like this is helpful, plus more angles showing the leaf arrangement on the branches, as well as photos of any flowers, spent flowers, or fruit that might be there. Check that the symptoms are clear in the picture while you still have a chance to try again. It's best to catch an insect if you can. We may need to see it, and we'll let you know if it's something of concern. Finding good strong light that does not cast strong shadows is the best way to get the camera to focus, avoid camera shake from low light, and show the details in the subject. Using the camera flash can create harsh shadows that obscure detail, so keep it turned off if you can. There are times when there really is not enough light to get the photo sharp and you may need to use it. For an insect that is fast moving and isn't going to fly away, sometimes you may need to slow it down a bit more to get the photo. Putting it in the fridge for 15 minutes or so can work well. Put the subject onto a plain surface. The camera will focus more easily. A white piece of paper can fool the camera into making the photo too dark, so something mid-toned is better than white. A ruler, pen, or some other common object next to it will help tell how big it is. Photograph the subject from as close as your camera will allow you. We call a view from above a dorsal view. This is a good angle for identification work. It is always good to have more angles. A side-on view is called the lateral view. If it's alive and you're concerned about it escaping, put it in a glass jar and use cling film as a lid. This is better to photograph through than the glass itself or any plastic container. A cling film lid on the jar lying sideways will usually allow you to get a lateral view. Make sure the paper bends up behind the jar. Once you've got the pictures, send them in to us. Some computers and phones will downsize the photos before sending them. If you can, send them at the original size that the camera shot at. That helps if we need to zoom in on small details. If we have any concerns about what you've found, we'll get you to send it in to us. We need New Zealanders to be part of the network protecting our forests, plants, waterways, and primary industries from biosecurity threats.